I was gonna say, who messes with my camera? But then I realized it was, it was, it's. Uh. Shut up, phone. It is 11.20 on a, my day is so thrown off. Ever since the whole time change thing, we need to figure something else out because I don't know how many of you are really jacked up from the time change, but I am. I am so messed up. I mean, even my kids are. So I don't really know what's going on. There's a lot going on. I do. Anyway, today I had at 8 o'clock this morning, I had a meeting. It wasn't even really a meeting. It was two friends hanging out. And let me tell you a little bit about this friend without giving them away to those of you who watch my vlogs and maybe know the company that I keep. This guy is an extremely successful guy. I mean, the guy is a very hard worker. He's a great family man, great businessman, and he's my age. And I really look up to him and admire him. I am a firm believer you are like the company you keep. I've always thought that. I've always wanted to surround myself with people who were, I thought, better than me, whether uh, as far as a business mind or their walk or just however they carry themselves. I just wanted to be around people that would challenge me and stretch me and would encourage me along the way. This guy does that. Uh, his personality and demeanor is just so chill. Maybe, you know, on the inside, he's full of turmoil. I don't know. He carries himself in such a cool way. And he has this, I don't really care what you think of me personally attitude. Goes a long way, I think, in business and in life. And, and uh, I just really admire him. And I appreciated him taking time out of his his morning to just hang out with me and just talk uh, as friends and not only him you know I have uh, two of our best friends Meg and our best friends I mean they're just go-getters they're a, they're a power couple they're involved in everything and they work hard I think it's so important and it just kind of comes full circle with it kind of comes full circle with what I'm getting at with this vlog. I, I don't care what someone does. I mean, I don't care if you own a business or if you're upper management at a business or if you're entry level in a business. I think it's super important with whatever you do, shoveling ditches even, you better shovel the most impressive ditch there ever was. I think when you put your heart into something and you just say, this is who I am, this is how much I love doing this, it's really going to show. The results, unfortunately, are not immediate from a business person perspective. However, that's cultivating the land and slowly but surely, you know, you will reap. I just am a believer in that. That's just kind of on my mind today as I just go through my day at 1123 now and just realizing that, you know, keep good company and just keep going and realize that Card died. I guess, I don't even know where I was. I don't know where I was. All I do know is I'm really grateful for people that are in my life, my circle, and that have invested their time, their talent, to help my family, essentially. So if I can give that back in any way, uh, maybe this is doing that in a little small way, me telling you to Go be around good people. Go be around people that better you and that make you excited about life. And do not, I repeat, do not conform and do not take advantage and take time for granted and do not take your situation for granted because you kind of are where you are for a reason. So embrace that and hold tight to that. Use it as a stepping stone if it's not where you ultimately want to be. So today is a day filled with waiting on emails and text messages and, and phone calls and running around here and making sure everything runs smoothly at the funeral home. And I'm about to go and sit with my wife out on the deck and we're gonna chat for a minute. I'm gonna eat a sandwich and then I will return in just a short bit. Maybe I'll have some other tidbit of information that you can or cannot take with a grain of salt. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could show you just all the times that I'm moving the camera and yelling at it, telling it to stop. I took a couple of days off of filming and vlogging and editing just to kind of get my brain together. Cause you can get so wrapped up in the back end of things. What I mean by that are 
all the analytics, the real time views, how many times a card was clicked, how many times something that you annotated was clicked and it just it just is so it can be so you know disheartening whenever oh I only had a thousand views on the channel today. I mean are you serious? A thousand views and I'm disappointed in one day? That's nuts. I took a break from that because I was tired of being wrapped up in that because whenever you're focused on the views, when you're focused on single sales or whatever you lose sight of why you do it in the first place, which is to create and to bring content, whether it's you know fresh or encouraging or whatever. We're bringing content to you, me as a creator, I'm bringing content to you and I needed to take a break because I was losing focus for just a second, but I'm back, I'm back everybody, I feel good. So this is what I'm bringing to you, this little tidbit of information about going to coffee with my friend to letting you know that I am doing this for the right reason and it feels really good to be doing so. I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to work on another song. Actually, it's another original song. Brent took this one in a totally different direction than I thought he would, because initially the first version I heard for this song was years ago, and I heard someone else singing it. I really liked it, and then he kind of put a different feel to it all together. So I'm gonna go and lay down some vocals just to kind of see what it sounds like, see where I'm going with it, vibe-wise, and we'll kind of see how this one turns out. My assistant's off today. So I have a couple of errands that need to be run, ran, run, ran, ran, run. This is the best pen ever. I love this pen. 